I think it was very interesting the kind of progress that we were able to agree in Durban, where for the first time all countries, not only the traditional developed or some of the developing countries, but all of us said, yes, of course we must do different things in the future. It must be common but differentiated what we do. All of us has a responsibility, but not all of us, of course, will have to do the same thing. It's extremely important that developing countries will still have the right to have development and to have growth, of course. But whatever we do and whatever we commit must be in the same legal form. And I think that was the major step forward in, in Durban. I have seen the wildest estimates about how big the costs are. I mean, if we take this example, Delhi, Brussels, we are talking about a couple of dollars, two dollars maybe. And that's the proportion. We can discuss whether it's three dollars or only one and a half, but I mean, that's the proportion. And everyone who knows what such a plane ticket costs will know that then we are talking about tiny money. We have one very important provision in our legislation saying that we are of course not dictating anybody what they want to do in their countries. But we say if you have equivalent measures, if you do something similar, you can decide what it is, but if you do something similar, then you can be exempted when you land in Europe. So this is the kind of dialogue we are having with many different countries. Well, I think there's still some room for that because it's not until next spring, spring of 2013, that sort of the final deadline is there. So again, if the political will is there, then there will be time enough to find out exactly how to handle it.